What about Kovalev Ward rematch? I know you got to get going, but do you think we're going to see the same type of fight, or do you think it's going to be different? Who? Kovalev and Ward. Show me. <laughs> Andre Ward is one of the slickest, one of the uh, diverse fighters that know whatever style is out there, and a lot of that comes from the amateurs. He went up against every style, every nationality. I was super, I mean, he went all the way up to the gold medal mm -hmm. and won it. He's going to fight him again. Will it be easier? A lot of and I think, think it'll be it's... year, this year. It will be this year. It's supposed to be June 17th. And let me, let me tell you. But Sergey's coming with some vengeance. He's coming with some attitude. He's coming. The first fight I picked, and I said, and I know everybody probably here had seen a segment that we do on HBO, right? It ain't the perfect execution, but it's, it's on the line of breaking it down. And you're going to see more fights coming up that we already broke down. I can't really tell you announce it, but I'm letting you know it is. Um, Great. Some more stuff coming out on my point of view of how it's going to be broken down. But the Sergey fight and the, the Ward fight, you've seen the Matador versus the Bull. You're going to see a carbon copy, but you're going to see a little different. You're going to see a little different from Sergey. Because I believe he figured out that he got to come in there strong. He got to come in there. And you might say, but no, he's already strong. No, he hit hard. In that fight, he showed me a little bit of tiring and a little bit of lack of love, energy of speed and snap of his punches later on. In the second. Second half, he lost, the fight was lost then. It was a close fight. But as I said before the fight happened, who will win? I was asked on camera during a segment. I said, if Sergey wins, he wins by knockout. He had that opportunity, but Ward got up. If Ward wins, he wins by decision. Ward got up and he out hustled some rounds and he won a decision. Well, who do you really think won, Bernard? I said, I stand by what I said. <laughs> and I left it like that. The second time I go around, it is even tougher than the first one. Because now you gotta look at a really a little different scenario. No, reality. And the reality is, Sergey don't wanna be in that situation again. But is he gonna be vulnerable or leave himself open to get countered by Ward mm -hmm. and, and, and out muscle at the second half of the fight? Possibly. But I'm gonna go on record right now and say this fight will happen like Joe Frazier's and Ali. Not necessarily the outcome, but they will fight three times. Wow. Mm. I look at this fight be a fight where it'll be so close that Sergey might get a decision. Andre Ward might get a decision, then it won't be three, because no need. But I see a fight going down a wire to the point where it's going to be split, where they will have to fight again for all the marbles. So I see, I see a fight happening like that. To be easier than the second fight, I don't think it's going to be easier a second fight. I don't think any fight with Sergey will be easy based on his size, his punch, and he always have that one punch knockout to get you in trouble. Ward knows that, and he knows he got to avoid the right hand. You take the right hand from Sergey, he might got a good chance for making a fight not as hard or as difficult as the first one. But I see this fight easily, easily. Won't be surprised if it won't go or be that way, but I won't be surprised over 50% that this fight happened three times. Uh, and, oh, BHOPLifestyle.com. We got to get that. Um, Tattoo was telling us about um, your new um, clothing line and different stuff on the website. Can you um, say anything about that? Yes, I will say something about that. Now, first, I will say, right? I got a little, <laughs> little bit of that, huh? Not, not. Now, no, you're okay. <laughs> Too much beer. No, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Because I want to encourage you. I don't want to beat yeah. you down. Yeah. Right? Now, That's my wife tells me. Big hop lifestyle <laughs> is to understand that we in position to make the clothes and not the clothes make us. See, I've never been a label whore. 
I say it again, I've never been a label whore. I make the clothes. Now, yes, quality is important. If I'm half of 100, which is 50, into quality, whether they shoes, whether they clothes, or whether they anything that you wear from feet to head, I'm gonna make it 100 when I put it on this body. I am my best investment, not things that I can replace. So a message to everyone out there through social media, the BeHopLifestyle.com. BeHopLifestyle.com is based on what? Not trying to get more money from you. But it's based on this. If you invest in yourself early, then you can gain the rewards of an interest of a good investment that you will enjoy later and also your family will enjoy with you as time go on. Anything else that you can replace is not that important than what can't be replaced, and that's you. So on that note, good damn night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> and see you later.